Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. Typically, in Anime Studio, when you want to manipulate or draw on a certain layer or object, you have to select the layer that object is on on the Layers panel before you can do your alterations. So let's say, for instance, I want to select the road and move the road around. Well, if I click on my Move Layer tool and then click and drag on the road, you can see that I'm moving the lines around on the road because that is the layer that is currently selected on my Layers panel. I can just undo that. So now, if I click on the road itself, that road layer, and then move the road around, you can see that works because I am in the right layer. But let's say, for instance, you want to change the way this works, that you want to be able to select anything you see on the screen that is a vector layer without having to go to the Layers panel. Well, the Vector Shape Selector can do that for you. So let's click on the Vector Shape Selector, which is underneath our Layer Panel on the Tools bar. And then come over here to the Canvas, and let's select the Mountains, just as an example. And now, if we take the Move Layer tool and move this around, you can see that it works. It works just as if we selected the Mountains 2 layer on our Layers panel. And you can do this with any vector layer that you see on the screen. I can select the road, I can select the ground, the sky, the clouds, and so on. So that can make things a lot quicker for you if you're looking to speed up your workflow. While the original method brings more organization and a focus to each layer, this can be really helpful, especially if you have a bunch of layers on your layers panel and you're having a hard time distinguishing which layer is which. And that wraps up this lesson. Make sure to visit the Anime Studio website for more information. Thanks for watching guys, I have many more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time.